Therapeutic hypothermia is uh, uh, a uh, treatment for uh, a variety of things in, in, in the case that I'm interested in, in, in for brain injury. Um, and uh, I became interested in therapeutic hypothermia uh, approximately two decades ago when I was working with a fellow named Guy Clifton at uh, the Medical College of Virginia. And uh, uh, Guy was demonstrating that in animal models, uh, uh, cooling the animal to about uh, 89 degrees Fahrenheit or, or 32 degrees centigrade uh, could make a big difference in the outcome of that animal after the animal had had a head in, an experimental head injury. So um, uh, that, that I thought was uh, uh, an important breakthrough because we knew that cooling to lower temperatures uh, could cause some real problems with the heart. Uh, in, in particular, it can cause the heart to stop beating. Uh, additionally, uh, cooling to low temperatures can cause problems with coagulation of the blood so that there will be hemorrhage problems. Um, so I, I thought that was an important breakthrough uh, and something that could be accomplished in the clinic uh, and in, in the hospital setting. Uh, so uh, I began using hypothermia at that point uh, when I uh, returned to uh, the clinical uh, practice and, and uh, uh, we did a number of studies, myself and a number of other investigators did studies with hypothermia uh, for primarily for patients with severe traumatic brain injury. Uh, and by that I mean patients who were comatose uh, following the initial impact and were brought to our emergency department unable to follow commands or to interact with their environment. We think that cooling helps uh, to improve outcomes following brain injury from, from a variety of causes. Uh, so you can have brain injury as a result of cardiac arrest, for example, where there's a, a loss of blood flow to the brain for a period of time. Um, you can have brain injury from a stroke. Uh, but more relevant to my uh, clinical interests, you can have brain injury from an impact of the head or trauma or traumatic brain injury. Um, and uh, that injury, whether it's from stroke or, or cardiac arrest or trauma, uh, will cause uh, a, a period of ischemia or lack of oxygen supply to the brain followed by uh, inflammation, uh, uh, release of a number of toxic uh, chemicals into the brain, uh, and uh, uh, disruption of the metabolism or the mechanics of the brain. Uh, all of those things we think can be improved with cooling.